in this video I want to pay attention uh, to the question are say normal transformers made for 230 volts and then to generate say 12 volts or 18 volts or primary 110 volt and the secondary uh, 12 volt or 14 volts or 18 volts are these transformers usable to make a high voltage circuits circuit and then especially when you reverse them so you send in to the primary here a kind of pulse current uh, due to the electromagnetic properties of such a transformer especially in the especially the windings ratio uh, the output voltage is pumped up to say in the ideal situation uh, uh, a voltage where such a TL tube or perhaps uh, a a LED unit can work properly, white LED unit can work pro properly uh, and then I mean uh, there's a difference that's the first thing to tell a white LED when you want to connect it to say this circuit here here the primary uh, low voltage winding here the high voltage winding and when you want to connect here a light emitting diode circuit especially a white lead unit uh, that white lead unit uh, it's possible it's possible that doesn't work and then i mean that it immediately burns out due to the too high voltage pulse here and uh, or uh, the situation that a LED light emitting diode is a diode so it's completely different compared to the situation that we have here here we have an old uh, TL tube 30 centimeters or longer uh, that depends but you can also use a uh, neon tube to make this test circuit and that's the focus of this video so forget a little bit about uh, what I told uh, about uh, uh, a white LED that can be connected here it's possible though there are many problems uh, in a ULC circuit by the way we have the same issue an oscillating transformer often on 10 megahertz or 500 kilohertz or whatever frequency but uh, there's no power say uh, dissipated sent in from the input to the output and that means that such a white lead can burn more or less forever and it will not burn out due to the low current that flo is flowing but of course when we go to more or less serious circuits and then especially I mean high voltage a high voltage circuit uh, that has to drive a TL tube or so like here um, uh, semiconductor a semiconductor so a white lead or so can easily be damaged by a too high pulse voltage so here is the aim of this video testing a reversed transformer and I want to demonstrate two transformers this is one and this is the other one uh, we send to the primary a voltage of approximately 16 volts and perhaps somewhat lower voltage and we can see what happens and I have my purpose here 
connected uh, 12 volt 21 watt automotive incandescent lamp in series to the primary so that the uh, when you make the circuit and try it your uh, power supply uh, keeps in a good condition many power supplies nowadays are uh, more or less direct directly um, taking their energy out of the mains could be 110 volt could be 230 volts and that means that uh, there must be current limitation and this is the most primitive way to make a current limiter and of course here you have all these low DC resistance windings and when you drive them with a DC pulse uh, it could be that your power supply cannot handle it it can even burn out so this is a safety measure here another way to test the properties of such a transformer connect a small neon tube say this one and of course it needs in such a case a resistor in the range of 100 K my screwdriver is magnetic so it picks up the, the wire of the neon tube anyway uh, that was more or less important to tell but the most important thing is of course is such a transformer or an other transformer for instance this transformer is out of a Eomega zip I think it's from the 1980s it had a very proper uh, voltage stabilizer inside but of course for such an experiment and in such a demo uh, I need only the bare transformer as it is so these are the uh, properties of this transformer and you can directly see that the uh, secondary winding has quite thick copper wire and also on the primary winding to the 230 volts it's not very thin that means that it's a kind of power transformer but anyway let's see uh, if this transformer can bring out enough high voltage when you pulse it on the primary where is a voltage in the 16 volts or 12 volts or, or 6 volts and uh, the question is of course does it light up so here we have the protective lamp I will switch off all the, all the lights now and that's important because we want to see if uh, that transformer is able to make the incandescent lamp light up and this protective resistor uh, protective lamp lights up very fierce and that's a reason why we cannot directly see what happens so I have it now under the table but perhaps it's visible to see when you pulse the primary here I need an other crocodile wire put down the camera for a while I think Oh, that's not that bad. I think I have enough time to do this. Uh, well, and the idea is now to get that 
incandescent lamp as far under the table so that we can see if the neon tube lights up. Well, that's that's okay. You can see it here. You can see some sparks here. So this is, in my opinion at least, a transformer that can be used to generate a high voltage on its secondary. Perhaps it's not ideal. Of course, I don't know the, the, the best uh, resonance frequency of this transformer. Where it gets out, gives out its maximum uh, high voltage in this reversed way. But anyway, it works. So, I uh, want to go to the other transformer for this demonstration. I hope my camera doesn't drop. So. This was that transformer. And now I go to another transformer. And I have already told about that transformer in the earlier videos. And I will give the links to these two videos in the uh, text box. I have to connect now the this steel tube here uh, one electrode goes to uh, one part of the, the transformer the other transformer and now the to the other part of the transformer and let's again tip tip the primary to see if this transformer has properties to generate some high voltage here I, I again tip now the, and you can see, also see here that this transformer this transformer has also good properties to be used as a uh, reversed main transformer that can generate a certain high voltage. I have now left the lamp so that is better visible to see whether such a uh, transformer, this, this one by the way, can give out a good voltage and I think this transformer is in a certain way better to be used as a reversed, uh, reversed high voltage transformer compared to this one. So anyway I only wanted to show some principles, uh, some things that that you can take in account when you want to make a, a high voltage circuit that is driven via a separate generator or uh, via self oscillation and here is the schematic of this test circuit. You can of course skip the lamp here the incandescent lamp here, incandescent lamp, when your power supply has a good current uh, protective circuit so that when the current gets too high it switches off. But this is a kind of primitive way and the 
the say the effect of the lamp how much uh, light that lamp gives gives also an indication about uh, the current that's flowing anyway thanks for watching